welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a kind of process video and flip through of my binder mail, quote unquote binder mail. I thought it would be a great idea to make this from scratch because it would cost less money. I didn't have to go buy a binder. I was not finding any binders anywhere. I don't have a Target, all that fun stuff. So I made it from scratch. Um, I do want to say this video kind of started in the middle of my process because this took me hours and hours and hours and hours. And so I had to erase a bunch of footage because like I just didn't have enough room anywhere on any like devices. I mean, I guess I could have if I really tried, but I couldn't figure out how to keep all this video while, while still being able to film more video. Like there was just so much to film that I had to cut something out. And again, this is sped up, I think times five. And I usually only speed it up anywhere from like two to four. So, and this is a very long video. Well, very long for me. My videos are usually anywhere from like seven to 12 minutes and this one's almost 20. So yeah, um, it was quite the process. I will explain what I'm doing, but I just want to give you some background on how I made it and what it's for and all that fun stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said, I thought, oh, great idea. I'll make it from scratch. It really can't be that hard. I've watched basic videos on how to make a book. I thought this can't be too challenging. And it wasn't. It was just very time consuming and you had to really think things through. And anyway, um, and I, in the end, I think it turned out pretty cool, but, um, not my favorite thing I've ever made, but I still think it turned out pretty cool. And I hope my recipient will really enjoy it and appreciate it and feel the love I put into it. So, so yeah, you can kind of see the basics of what I have here, but in the end I will go do a real time flip through. So you'll be able to see everything. I promise. I'm sorry. It's so fast. I'm sorry. I missed a bunch. Please forgive me and give me grace in this video. But I took some chipboard that I had laying around that I kept from a previous order that I made. I don't remember where, maybe scrapbook.com. I don't really know. Um, but it came with chipboard because I had papers and it was keeping them stable. So I cut them down to a size that I thought would work. Um, I measured some of my traveler's notebooks just to get um, an idea of a size that I think would um, work and um, be reasonable. Like I just didn't know what size books were and what size to make it. Uh, so those, so I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know the size right now. Um, if you do want to know the size of this in particular, then put it in the comments and I will try and figure that out. Um, and find that out for you. But it's about the size ish, give or take of a traveler's notebook, give or take. Um, sorry about Harvey. So I did that for the front and back cover and then just guessed on the spine with whatever I had left. And so it turned out to be pretty massive. Um, because then I didn't have like with with all the chipboard, it was bigger than 12 by 12, obviously. So I couldn't just use one paper to do the covers. I had to put, um, glue two papers together to make it big enough to cover the entire front cover and back cover and spine. So I did that. And then I did the inside and it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect, but I think it'll be good enough. And then what I did, I'm sure there's a name for it, but what I did is I took some twine and I wrapped it around the spine. I wrapped five pieces around the spine and then made like little sleeves, not sleeves. That's not the right word. Made pages, I guess. Um, so I would take a page, fold it in half and then um, slip the slip it in the twine, which you'll see when I do the flip through. Um, and then I, I glued the backs to each other. I hope that makes sense. I am so sorry if it doesn't make sense. Like I said, it was quite the struggle. Um, and I'm doing this voiceover now, but I filmed a, the, the, um, the flip through at the end before this. And, um, so I can't exactly, I might be, I might repeat things that I have, that I'm saying in the end, but 
Um, I did a poll on Instagram to see because I was struggling so much with losing so much room on my phone, on my camera, on whatever to film this. Um, and I had to figure out, like I had to keep deleting things to find more room on all my devices. I put a poll on Instagram and I said, would you rather see, um, would you rather see just a flip through or would you rather see a process video and flip through? And I think it was like 82% or 83% said they wanted to see both a process video and flip through. So then that gave me like a little bit of motivation to just keep going, to keep filming what I can and edit it all and do this super long video and voiceover. And I really, really, really hope you like it. Um, and I'm sorry that it's not everything. I would have loved to show you step by step from the beginning. But like I said, this is so new to me and I was kind of experimenting. So it just wouldn't have been helpful to you. I mean, it probably would because you could learn from my mistakes. <laughs> but um, maybe if I do this again in the future, then I will do a more thorough video. But man, this was complicated. So now you're kind of seeing the inside of it. I made a little pocket on the bottom left page there that you'll see me put a chocolate bar, but in the end, I actually put um, a face mask for my recipient. Um, and, and I say this in the end too, but when I do the flip through, uh, which you'll see in a few minutes, well, in like 10 minutes, no, like seven minutes, five minutes, anyway, which you'll see in a few minutes. Um, I, it's, I don't know if this is completely finished yet. I'm not ready to send it off yet. I'll probably send it off in about a week once I finish everything else I want to do. Um, so with that being said, what you're seeing at the end, I don't know if that's like the finished product. Um, it could be, but I might still add some things to it. Um, but I just didn't know. So I thought, let's just film it now. Let's make sure I get this video in. Um, and also I'm, I, there are some pages that like, I don't fill out and stuff like that because I thought maybe the recipient might want to reuse this as a uh, mini album, which is possible. I don't really know, but she can. Um, you just take the goodies out and um, and put pictures there. So, so yeah. So as you can see, that pink photo there, not that pink paper there. Sorry. That pink paper there is was one paper and then I folded it in half and you can see the twine that is through it. So I just slipped the paper through the twine and it's not glued on or anything. It's not perfectly stable, but it works. Um, and then I made envelopes, I think three different envelopes to go in there. And I glued that little flappy part of the envelope on the page. And so it's almost like another page. Um, and I think on one of them, I actually glued the envelope down completely to the page. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so that just created an, another fun pocket to put goodies in or whatever in. Um, yeah. And so there I'm adding some of my handmade embellishments that I hope she'll like. It's kind of chunky for this book, but um, I think it's all right anyway. I put a little adhesive behind it to just make sure it stays while in transit, but she'll easily be able to take it off. No problem. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yes. So you don't see everything that I add to this because like I said, I was losing room. Uh, so you see me embellish it like, I don't know, three quarters of the way, but I'm going to do a full thrip, flip through at the end of this video. It just takes me a couple minutes to show you everything. Um, and hopefully, um, you will get a sense of everything else that I added to this book. It was quite the adventure, but, um, I got there and in the end I am happy with how it turned out. It's a lot chunkier than I thought it would be. Um, but it's still a really fun book. Um, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, there's a lot that you probably don't see. Like I add trim to a bunch of the pages. That's probably the biggest part. I add trim and tabs to most of the pages and, um, you, I don't think I filmed that part because at one point I was just like so exhausted from working on it. And oh, you, look at that. I'm adding trim. So I think you do see some of it. So maybe I put some of it on, but yeah, I put some on and I was just so exhausted from like thinking about this. So I turned the camera off 
And then I was like fiddling around at my desk and found a few more things, stuck it on, fiddling around, found a few more things, that kind of thing. And just kind of slowly added things and to make it feel more complete because I just didn't feel like it was complete yet. So I do add some trim, which is great. Um, but yeah, there are, I can see now there are a lot of parts that are a lot less embellished than they are now at the end, but you will see that. Sorry about my head. Um, yeah, I also, for this mail, because it's a binder mail swap, I'm part of a group that's doing this big binder mail swap, kind of like a secret Santa. Um, I am sending this and um, a few other things. So my full, by now, she definitely has received it. If not, this, yes, this video won't go up until she's received it. Um, but yeah, but I, in a couple of weeks, hopefully I'm going to post the actual full outgoing mail for this. So if you want to see what else I included or whatever changes I made to this binder mail, then you can look out for that video. Um, but yeah, I just want to make sure 100% sure that she has received it. Um, I'm hoping with when I'm mailing this, I'm hoping she will receive it before the end of April. So, or I'm sorry, before the end of March, before April comes, I'm hoping that she has received this. So my plan as of now that I'm filming, that I'm doing this voiceover, which is March 6th, um, is that um, April 24th, this um, video will go up. But if not, then that means she hasn't received it yet. <laughs> but I'm hoping she does. And then, yes, in a couple weeks, my plan right now is May 7th. Uh, the video for the entire piece of mail will go up. But that's just my plan right now. Um, yeah, in a few minutes, I am going to switch over to real time and show you it's complete. As you can see, there are a lot of pages missing, but in those spots, I either put goodies or you'll see how I decorated it. But yeah, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm getting tired of this. I don't know where to go from here. I was feeling a little stuck. I really liked that lace bow, uh, which will definitely be um, on there when I give it to her. But yeah, in a few moments, we're going to switch over to real time and uh, you'll be able to see the flip through. Thank you so much for watching this and for the patience that you have given me and the grace you have given me with this little project that is been fun. I've learned a lot and I can't wait for the next one. Well, yes, I can, but <laughs> I think I'm going to get a real binder next time. I think that'll make it a trillion times easier. <laughs> uh, put together a sequin mix to give to her and uh, I think we're going to move on to real time now. So uh, let's see the, the flip through. Okay, friends, it is done. It is complete. You can even see my nails are a different color because that's how long this project took. Um, I'm going to show you a flip through of this. Um, like I probably already said, um, I did not film everything. Um, and I don't even know if this is done yet. I probably am going to fiddle around with it a little bit. But I did put a poll on my um, Instagram to see if you guys just wanted a flip through or process video and flip through. People said um, both. So anyway, I, the process video wasn't perfect, but um, hopefully it was good enough. So I tied it up with some lace. The cover is probably my favorite part. Um, I love these thickers. I think the thickers really made it and some cute layering um, compared to the rest at least. So this is the front cover, as you saw. Really pretty. I also love the florals. That probably also helps. And then on the side, I added just a few little tassels and things. These are some of my favorite ones for my stash, but I know the recipient will really appreciate them. So um, they're going to her. And it is quite chunky, but um, I like it. I like it. I like it. It was a lot of work, but I like it. So like I said, some things I'll probably switch around once I put her whole package together. But um, in this front little pocket that I added, I just put a face mask in this little glassine bag. I probably will decorate this glassine bag. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know how much the recipient will care. In here, I put some twine. Um, that's why it's kind of bulky because I put a thing of twine in there. So that's the first page, nothing special. Um, but I put this on the side as well. And then on this page, this is actually an old handmade embellishment. Um, 
that I had and I was like, it actually kind of works. I don't love this embellishment, but it kind of worked in this spot. And then there's a little, okay, it's hard to take out, but there's a paper there you can write on, but I'm going to leave all those papers um, empty just in case she wants to take all this stuff out and make it into a mini album. I'm going to leave that. Um, and here I have some cut aparts from Maggie Holmes. So I'll just give you a close up of that. Um, it's not like totally stable just because the nature of how it's made, but that's okay. Um, and this I've kind of left blank. And then I have some beautiful rosettes here that I made in a previous video. Um, yeah, it would have been posted already. So if I remember, I'll link that down below. If not, you can just search in my, um, in my, on my page. So I just kind of clipped that on. Um, and then on the other side, I have um, a sticker sheet and then some enamel dots. Well, they're not enamel dots. They're like gems. And then a sequin mix. And yep, that's it for this side. So some little gifts for her. And then I put some of this um, on the bottom. What is the word I'm looking for? You're probably shouting at your screen. I, um, we'll just move along. <laughs> I'll think of the word at the end, I'm sure. Um, and then here we have this little tag and I actually put it in some packaging for something from Joann's, but, um, I just kind of covered what it was and I put this tag and there's a video for this if you want to find it. Um, and then also in here, I put a sticker sheet from the Sunny Days collection and I put some sequins in the packaging as well. And I think that was just kind of good enough. Um, on some of the pages, I included some tabs and then just put words on the side. Um... Trim. Is that the word I was looking for? Trim? Anyway, um, I put some more. Oh, there goes a uh, gem. I'll have to find where, where that goes. <laughs> um, oops, and that just fell out. I'll put that back in later. So I just put some lace trim on the side, and then this bag has, I think, some ephem no, a sticker sheet in it. That's what it has in it. And, um, and on this side, I gave her a full pack of a sticker sheet, and then just clipped it on with a clip and again oh I was gonna say again there's a tab but the tab fell off <laughs> oh gosh guys this project has kind of been it's been a struggle like I said this is my first time doing it so it's been a little bit of a struggle okay on this page what I wanted to do if it were like a traditional binder was I wanted to do some of these kind of pages but it's not a traditional binder so I couldn't really Put these in but I, I figured out how so I clipped it on with this clip and I put two sequin mixes in there so if she wants to she can cut these open use the sequin mixes and then she can have this card if she wants as well but this all comes off so like I said if she makes this into a mini album then um then she has pages to put her pictures um, and then this, I just did a little embellishment page. So that's what those sequin mixes look like. And that's a cut apart for her. And then, whoopsies. And then this is a little embellished page. And then again, another tab. This one actually stays apparently. And some trim on the side. Here again is kind of a journaling spot for her. Um, if she wants to make this into a mini album. And I've included a like alpha stickers for her that are pink. And this is actually the last page because then I glued that page right on, put some trim on top. So that is it. It is a mammoth thing. And uh, I think the front cover is my favorite part of it. Um, it was a struggle, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're feeling inspired and I'm glad I tried this and got out of my comfort zone. I kind of know now how it'll go if I try again. Um, I'd rather just buy a binder that's already made. But anyway, this is it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm sorry if it was really long, but um, it was fun to make. I'm not saying it was bad. It was still really fun to make. And I really hope the recipient will like it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.